Okay, no wasting time. Part 3. Alright, now you break the crate, use the megaton hammer to hit the switch, and the door opens up. Okay, now you'll want to open the chest. I hope it's big money. No, obviously it is the compass, which is really useful, and I'm not joking about that. Because it lets you know which doors you don't want to go through, being as the one that you just came through. So you want to climb back up. Climb, climb, climb. And we see Navi getting all green on us and looking up there. Now, you equip your ocarina and you stand on the hookshot thing and you play the song of time and we'll see what happens. And a block of time appears. I'm not sure if, that's, if they're called that or not, but I think they should be. Of course, you can hookshot your way up there. Where else would you go? And go there. And you move up very, very slowly. Look at how slow that is. A lot slower than the other one, at least. And now we're in a room with a switch that looks like a face. See? Hookshotting that actually makes a door open. You kill a slug. Mm -hmm. Good and dead. Climb up. Kill the other slug. Good and dead. And climb up even further. And we go through the door into a donut room. Now... You don't want to hit the switch yet. And you want to climb up to the right. And then go down to the left. And near that ring of fire, there is another switch. And you can't hear it now because there's no sound. But there's actually the scratching of a golden skeletala. So... You will hit it with the bigger on, the megaton hammer. I don't know why I keep calling it bigger on. And you want to charge up your sword beam all the way. And you could see the green blood. I just killed a golden skeleton. Now that this hookshot thing is up, you can easily step on the switch, let that thing go out, hookshot your way up. There you go. And move the block to reveal your golden skeletella. Dun 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 dun. That's all this room was meant for a golden skeletella. Yeah. Down. Don't really need to kill the slugs again, so just keep going down. And now we're back where we started. You don't want to go back up again, so. Just fall down. <laughs> and you can see the locked door in the upper corner. Look, shot your way up. And open the door. Very good. Now, this room you might remember from Ocarina of Time, the regular game, a wall of fire would move towards you, but that doesn't happen. Now you have two switches, and two torches, rather, and they're unlit, and they're the kind that you have to switch on. So you grab yourself a little crate, and make sure you don't break that big crate. You find a blue switch, they light both torches, and you don't want to go through the door that you're about to see. You gotta make sure that the switch is actually on there good and center. Do not go through that door. Hook shot back onto the big crate. And then you want to stand in between the two torches. Now equip your bow. And 
See, there's a torch up there. Probably didn't notice that unless you looked. But there's a torch, and you gotta obviously hit it to light it. Come on. There you go. You hit it, and it's lit. Now, you want to go through this door, obviously. And it's just a hallway. Nice and easy, simple. Absolutely nothing in that hallway, so don't waste your time. And if you use the Megaton Hammer, you could bang that thing in that big island column and just go down to the boss. But I want to complete the temple 100%. And there's the sound back, so joy, now we have something to listen to without when I'm not talking. Yeah, in that, there's always going to be a bomb and a fairy. Don't get hit by the fire. Now, I actually went in this door by mistake, but it turned out good because you can hear Golden Skeletal through there. I tried to leave, but I realized there's a Golden Skeletal. That's... And I just killed it. Breakaway... Breakaway wall. And there's that bad boy. Really, you don't want to get hit by the fire. It's embarrassing. Now, just make your way back up. And this is the thing you can hit to go down to the boss chamber, but I want to get everything in this temple, so you're just going to have to bear with me and watch. Now you want to equip your Megaton Hammer. Hit the rest of the switch, and that opens the door down there. And you cannot get past that wall of fire. I tried. And failed. Now, if you notice, Navi is going green again, so you'll play the Song of Time again. But not with a Deku Nut. And see, you don't want to get hit by the fire. But you can go through that door. Which has the ever-important Skeltala and Lizafos in there. Three hits, he's dead. Skeltala. And leave the room. Now... On further inspection, you cannot go through to get that switch. Not from where you're standing, anyway. So, once I realized there's absolutely no way you can get there, I gave up and went back. But, you can't go that way either. The only way you can get back is by playing the Song of Time, where Navi is. But not too close to where the block is. Try to get a little further back so you can, um, get the block to appear, but no, that doesn't work either. How about going uncomfortably close? Like really close. And 
jump right over the fire. There we go. Now, to get the final Skeletella and to fight the balls of all Vegeta, stay tuned for the epic conclusion in Ocarina of Time Master Quest Fire Temple Walkthrough by Nevit1212.